Sveikinam vis pirmą Kauno Žalgirį, pelnytai laimėtas titulas, pagarba jiems. Mes rungtynėse buvom šiandien tikrai ilgai, bet mus vėl žodė smulkmenos, turim septynis taškus antram kelinį ir vėl tos pačios dalykai, tie patys dalykai, kurį mums persikio sunkesnėse rungtynėse tas pats ir šiandien, bet jokio, kaip pasakyt, Tikrai negėda pralaimėt ir šių rungtynių, ir netgi serijos tokiai komandai. Ką čia dar? Serija parodė mūsų turbūt spragas, išryškino ir turėsim daug medžiagos formuojant naują komandą. Klausime. Žvelginti visą sezoną, pačiam jisai prasidėjo būnant asistentų trenerio, baigėsi turint kontraktą kitam sezonui, kaip vyriausiasis treneris ryto. Kaip Gedriau atsiminti šitą sezoną asmeniškai, koks jisai pačiam buvo, ko daugiausiai davė asmeniškai? Na, turbūt vienu žodžiu apibūdint galima būti augimas ir prisitaikymas kiekvieną dieną prie naujų situacijų. Tai sezonas tikrai daug davė ir pirmoji sezono dalis, sakyčiau, ir ypač antroji. Taip pagrindinis turbūt apibūdinimas būtų augimas, o kitas dalykas prisitaikymas ne tiek prie to krepšinio, prie kintančių komandų ir taip toliau, bet prie to sunkau sezono, covidinio sezono, daug mus žeidė tas sezonas, daug visokių kalnelių buvo, bet juos mes išgyvenom lemoj sezono stadijoj ir žaidėjai suteikė, manau, daug teigiamo emocijų ryto bendruomeniai, fanams, Vilniaus miestui ir tikrai po rungtynių už tą didelę širdį žaidėjams padėkojau kad jie atstovavo komandą ir rodė ją į meilę. Sakėt, šitą seriją išryškino tai, ko trūksta komandai. Kaip dabar atrodys tą komplektaciją kitam sezonui? Kada planuoja tai pradėti? Kieno darbas tai bus kokių žmonių? Ir kokios tos spragos, kurias labiausiai norisi užkamšinėti? Dabar, žinot, kaip ir kiekvienas treneris, kaip ir kiekviena komanda, mes norim testi numo. Ir Kiekvienas žaidėjas, kuris yra sudėti, yra su klaustu, kad galbūt pasilikti ir jį, ir jį. Visu visais galima būtų tes toliau, nes tikrai tai yra kovotojai, tikrai turintis didelę širdį žaidėjai ir visų pirma žiūrėsim, ką mes galim pasilikti artiečiam sezonui. O kitos, o kitos, mums, aš taip apie pavardę sikrai nesakysiu, bet realiai mums trūksta atletikos ir ta šitą seriją parodė. Tu žaidi pusfinalį, ketvirtfinalį su vienokiais varžovais, tu žaidi finalą su Žalgiriu ir tas jausmas apie savo komandą ir jos galimybės tiek čempionų lygoj, tiek varžyti su Žalgiriu, tu supranti žymiai geriau. Tai gal tik tai krypti parodė, kur link mes turėtų. O kas formuos, tai formuos, aišku, vadyba, labai daug prisijungs Donatas Avackas, trenerių štabas visas ir po truputį formuosim, o pradėsim jau realiai rytoj. Dar klausimą? Nuo tolinio būdų, ar bus? Mindaugai. Sveiki, trenerė, ar yra žaidėjų, kur tikrai žinote, kad jie išvyks iš komandos kitą sezoną? Šią momentui ne. Tokių nežinau. Arba iki manęs nedajaus informaciją. Ir to pačiu tada dar vienas klausimas, kas šiandien Augustui Maščiulioj nutiko, ar tai gali būti rimtesnė trauma, ar tik nerizikavote jų? Žinot, Augustui yra rinktinė iš karto jaunimo. Jisai šiek tiek timtelio, bet ten kiek aš klausiau jo, tai tik tai daugiau užsigando negu kažką susižeidė ir nenorėjom rizikuoti ir tiesiog toksai sprendimas ir bet šiaip augiui tai tikrai didžiuliai komplimentai, kaip tokio amžiaus šitoj finalo serijoj, tai tikrai atrodė gerai ir nieko neturiu ką slėpti, norėsime jį išlaikyti.
Trenerį Andrew Odell, kas visą sezoną metu banga, bet sezoną užbaigė spūdingi, šešioliki, šilės dviženklių pasirodymų šį vakarį rezultatyviausio sezoną rankinės. Kiek svarbu komandai turėti tokios patys žaidėjai ir kaip bendrai vertinate darbą su juo? Šią šį pasigavau po rungtynių iš kartų pasakiau, kad sezonas, vau. Pirmas dalykas, kas jam buvo svarbu po tų kelių metų praleistų labai sunkių su traumomis, eilė sunkių traumų ir išžaisti visą sezoną sveikam. Taip buvo mikro traumas, bet kam jų nebūna. Tai visų pirma, tai buvo jam pasiekimas. Antras dalykas, jis pamilo komandą, pamilo Rubinę ir aukojo savo kūną, ką matėt ir... Ir gynyboj, turbūt neleisiu pamėluot, bet neleis man niekas pamėluot, bet jis turbūt pirma komanda, kur kažkas tengėsi ginti už vyrus atstovėt. Nes viskas jam čia tiko, su juo mes irgi norim šnekėti, kiek žinau, jau buvo pokalbis. Irgi žiūrėsim apie galimybęs jį išsilaikyti. Tai tokį žaidėją turėt, jisai yra pavyzdys visie mums, ypač jaunesniems žaidėjams, matėt, kiek mūsų žaidėjų čia, jiems buvo taip pirmas finalas. Ir turėt šalia savęs rūbiniai, aikšteliai, tokį žaidėją, tai yra stiprų, tai džiaugiuosi dirbęs, džiaugiuosi turėjęs šansą su jo darbuotis. Winning a championship is never easy, and uh, not just this game, but this series. I thought we played pretty good uh, basketball overall. Uh, we knew what we had to do. We had to keep them off the boards, keep them out of transition. And uh, I believe all three games they were under 80 points. And uh, it's a, I don't know, over a series, you're really going to have to uh, defend and uh, not depend on making shots. And uh, I don't know which shot tonight, but uh, I thought we did a pretty good job defending. Questions? Thomas, we can smell the cigars in here for, uh, from your locker room. Uh, that's your third championship, uh, counting last one that mm -hmm. was cancelled. Yeah. Uh, overall, this season, uh, when you will look back into this season after some years, how will you remember it? Because it was special for everybody. Yeah, I mean, it's great to see you guys back here in this room. I think it's the first time that it's uh, been like that, not over Zoom, you know, so just stuff like that is nice, returning to normal life. Um, the season was uh, difficult, um, you know, to play every game without fans. You know, season by itself is really long. It's really a grind, but, you know, the highlights are the games, you know, it's uh, the fans, the adrenaline, the atmosphere, all that stuff. So uh, to not have uh, fans this year, you know, you really had to be self-motivated. And uh, I thought throughout the entire year we were really, you know, as a team, you know, a self-starting team. So, uh, you know, kudos to uh, this locker room and, uh, you know, never uh, taking a day off. For you personally, how much sweeter is it to finish the season with that MVP trophy? You know, it's very special. Um, you know, I, I try not to put uh, stuff on, you know, put a lot of value on individual efforts because, uh, you know, if we as a team don't play well and win tonight, then, uh, you know, I'm not receiving the MVP trophy. And, uh, um, but it is special to be doing that wearing a Jaguars uniform. It, it means a lot. And uh, as you know, every season here, I feel like uh, my leadership role has stepped up. So, um, you know, to receive that is, uh, is special to me. I'm not sure if you saw it, but there was a poster in the stands saying, Thomas, please stay. Mm -hmm. uh, how much of that can happen? Uh, yeah, I'm still undecided, you know. Uh, I'm still um, trying to decide, uh, um, taking into account everything that uh, is on the table. and. Um, It's a special place here, though. I know that, and uh, there's a definite, definite chance of, uh, of me staying, but uh, still undecided. Mindaugai. Uh, hey, Thomas. Uh, I think you missed the moment when a uh, coach was flying uh, uh, on the hands of the players. Uh, am I right? Yeah. Like, 
Unfortunately, I did. I, I saw it uh, during my interview, and I almost uh, jetted and uh, ran over there because I wanted to be a part of that. It's such a fun moment. Uh, you know, everybody jumping, throwing him up in the air, and uh, you know he's not he's not a he's not a huge guy, so you can really toss him up high. And uh, but uh, you know, those are the special moments about uh, winning a championship, uh, kind of soaking it all in uh, with your teammates afterwards, and. Um, I know it wasn't full capacity, obviously, but uh, just having some fans in there, you know, really, really made it special. So, have you asked uh, your fr- team teammates who's heavier, Sharas or, or Martin Schiller? <laughs> no, I, but I don't think I need to ask. <laughs> Easy to guess. <laughs> I think Coach Schiller might be uh, might be a little bit uh, a little bit lighter. Thomas, uh, Coach Schiller uh, on several occasions mentioned that you are basically like the half Lithuanian right now. So, personally, uh, what can, how big of a bond do you think you form through, throughout the Oh, man. Um, it's really hard to put into words, uh, but the best I could say it would be like I've made lifelong friends here. You know, uh, Grigonis, Milas, Yankunis, I mean, truly lifelong friends that, uh, and it's hard, it's hard to uh, stay connected with certain guys that, you know, might be going somewhere or moving. Uh, but I mean, I played three years with these guys, you know, it's, it's not a short amount of time. And um, this locker room, this club is very, very close. So, um, you know, uh, when people ask about Lithuanian people, I was like, man, they're, they're amazing. And uh, like I said, lifelong friends. Uh, yeah, first of all, of course, we're extremely happy about winning the game and winning the championship. Um, really very happy. I know the club has won it uh, pretty often, but I have not been part of it yet. So it really means the world to me. And I'm uh, very, very happy. Um, uh, very happy about the entire season. If somebody would have said 10 uh, months ago that we'll win the championship and win the cup and go 50% in EuroLeague, then, you know, we would have signed it off. And um, <clears throat> we've got the same 15 guys in the locker room who we had in the beginning. That's a good sign. That's a testament to uh, the characters in there. Um, and, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy. Um, uh, to the game and the series, um, uh, you know, for us, the biggest key was keeping their three-point attempts low, keeping the three-point percentage low, and rebounding the ball. When Yankee went out, the rebounding was difficult, um, but we still kept, I think, their, their percentages from three down, and that was very important. Um, I really want to, you know, really, really want to congratulate Coach and uh, Ritas. Um, to me... He did a fantastic job of turning around the season for them um, in a way of, how should I say, like, you know, they subtracted some some pieces of the team and he uh, put a new, like, tactical orientation into it. And I really, like, have a lot of respect for not, like, the scores and the results, but like that anyhow, but the way they put stuff together and change stuff. So my respect goes out to... Ritas and uh, and coach especially. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm I'm really happy. Okay, questions. Coach, we all know the story. You came in here to replace a long-term coach, playing this difficult season without fans, all those COVID cases, and so on and so on. When you look back now and remember yourself back in August and now in the start of June. What do you think, uh, if you changed, uh, and where you changed the most, and where do you see that growth in yourself, in yourself and the team as well? <clears throat> you know, the first thing I would say is just tactical experience, technical experiences, you know, with things. Um, because the game is played different. I think we talked about this here before. The game is played different in Germany than in Lithuania. The game is play, played different in, in North America in the G League than it is here. You know, So there is uh, stuff to learn and stuff to adjust. So there has been a lot of that, obviously. And the game has been played differently in EuroLeague than in Lithuania. So it's <clears throat> really a lot, um, a lot that um, I was you know, uh, able to 
learn. Um, as a as a person and as a professional, I, I want to believe I'm still the same and, and, and my approach has stayed the same. But, you know, again, there's been a lot of stuff that um, I could adjust to and um, I'm extremely happy for the opportunity that was given to me by Paulius. Um, very happy. I think it's a bold move uh, to hire me. I think back then a lot of people didn't dare take the job and uh, that's the one thing, didn't dare take the job. And then the other thing is though you've got to offer the job to uh, a profile of, uh, like me, you know, that's a very untraditional thing to do. Uh, so I want to thank uh, Paulius here for that <coughs> um, because, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, being put in a situation to have the chance to win a cup and a championship is a big thing. Uh, now questions from Jalgris Insider. Uh, hello, coach. One more time. Congrats with the victory. And uh, our subscriber, Matters, asks, uh, what would be three words uh, to describe this, your first season in Kolnos, if you, if you may? Uh, yeah, fucking great season. That's three words, right? There you go. Yeah, these There are great go. words. Uh, and another question, uh, not uh, not connected with basketball, but with the upcoming uh, football championship. Which team are you going to support? One of the subscriber asks, Austria, Germany, or England? Huh. Um, first of all, let's talk about the fact that the last three Champions League finals were won all by three German coaches. I just want to, like, we talk soccer, so here it is. Um, uh, and I'm very opportunistic in that. I, I'm very, very opportunistic. So uh, whoever whoever uh, is good, that's who I'm rooting for. Actually, three pretty good teams. Like, you know, England right now, pretty interesting. Germany always up to winning it all. And Austria, you know, it's like, you know, they can, they can surprise some people. So I've got very good chances. <laughs> Okay. As to here, Coach Salgis will have a lot of uh, roster changes. This year, you would have uh, more space uh, to complete roster for your own, for your game plan. And what is your vision for next season? <clears throat> like, okay, first of all, um, I want to say that roster changes uh, obviously will happen because players have developed and are moving, right? Like, we, we know about Marius, you know, we anticipate Rokas. Um, you know, we anticipate Nigel, we anticipate Tom moving to bigger spots, right? So that, first of all, is a great thing because that's who we are also, right? We're a little bit of a stepping stone um, club. Uh, we're also a club that defines um, uh, itself by developing Lithuanians. So Mario's going to a big situation is a big success for us. Rokas potentially going to a big situation is a big success for us, as much as it hurts, you know, but uh, it's also who we are, and um, and so I want to say it's uh, it's a success, first of all. Uh, Tom, obviously, you know, like we would love to keep Tom, there is no question. Um, you know, the challenge is that there are really a very rare amount of point guards in Europe, and, uh, and uh, <laughs> so... You know, everywhere where a point guard opening happens, his name uh, pops up. So, you know, <clears throat> it's going to be a tough thing. But, you know, obviously we tried everything, are trying everything. Um, vision, uh, you know, the first thing is it's it's not me putting the team together. It's us putting the team together, Paulius, uh, the coaches, um, you know, uh, Algi, our scout. So it's a combination of all. The first thing for us is we need great characters. That's the first thing. The quality of this team was unbelievable characters. And uh, that's the baseline of everything. Um, everything else we'll, we'll have to see. Menduge? Uh, coach, as you mentioned, uh, some of the players played last time for Shalgiris. Uh, have you told farewell to somebody already? Uh, uh, and who, who will leave for sure? Uh, no, I have not. Um, because, you know, we, we had a job to do here. And it's a very uh, challenging thing to stay in the moment. 
uh, of the of the job that is to be done you know especially after being up to zero you know you've got to stay in the moment you've got to stay in the moment it's uh, challenging and so f of course uh, i have not <clears throat> said farewell to anybody um but i mean the the people who are i mean marius is is clear um and well deserved the season that he put together was unbelievable and i'm i'm really happy for him like ex like really happy i know it it hurts and it's um, you know in a way it 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 hurts like i want to say us lithuanians because you know he's lithuanian playing for us etc cetera, etc cetera. but i also think we have to understand like it's a great um, achievement for us you know getting a next uh, uh, lithuanian player to one of the big four powerhouse clubs you know for a lot of money too you know it's a little bit life changing so it's 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 great stuff i'm i'm very happy for him and i'm very grateful that i was able to coach him here Kasti? Uh, coach, can you comment about meeting with uh, Mantas Kalinetis in Lais Vasile and, and do you see him in next season in, in Kolnoj Jalgiris? First of all, how do you know I met him in Lais Vasile? <laughs> we went from Lais Vasile to Old Town, <clears throat> we got Vero coffee, then we went to... Then we went to Cafeina, got the second coffee. And then we went back again. So it was one and a half hours. You're right. It was also life was earlier. No, it was great conversation. And, you know, obviously, like I said before, it starts with the Lithuanians for us. What does this mean? This means every Lithuanian who is without a contract and is a EuroLeague quality player has to be uh, looked at and uh, uh, interviewed and, and talked to. Plus, now, uh, Mantas is something different. Mantas is a child of the club with high identification for the club. So, um, you know, very obviously uh, we have conversations and that's it for now. You know, I can't fuel um, any, <clears throat> you know, how do you say, uh, yeah, yeah. speculations. Okay, last two questions because coach has to go to celebration outside. Yes, I have to. <laughs> so one here, Yoni. Coach, how strange to have a part on Monday. Excuse me? How strange to have a part on Monday. Uh, a party on Monday? Yeah. Uh, I think like we don't have a problem with it. Like uh, I'm, I'll, I'll say this: like after the cup victory, uh, it was pretty wild, and I anticipated being a little wilder now. So you know, we really don't care. We're just gonna go. <laughs> have a nice. Thank you. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Thank Thanks. you, guys.